Thank you very much, uh, Right Honourable Speaker, uh, for according me and the people of Blanta City Southeast uh, to raise an issue that is of urgent public importance, understanding Order 14. But on Speaker, as a country, we have been disturbed so much to hear news that 10,000 tons of maize that was meant for Malawians has gone rotten. Madam Speaker, I was part of the team that met the NFRA board that was led by the board chair on 2nd of February. And according to their presentation, Madam Speaker, which I have, there's no any indication that some maize had gone rotten. I'm talking of just 20 days ago when we had this meeting. There's a lot of questions that Malawians are asking, and I'll just give you some of them, Madam Speaker. The most common one that is being asked is that, how is it possible that a particular fig of 10,000, what they're trying to say is, it was this particular 10,000 tons kept in one container, and that container got infect, infested with something that spoiled the maize? Or was it part of uh, the huge stocks that we see in warehouses? Because it is surprising that exactly one fig of 10,000 just got spoiled. If it's weevils, they just wanted to eat 10,000 tons, bus, akuta. Another strong, uh, Madam Speaker, another strong rumor that is making rounds from reliable sources is that uh, two ex-ministers and a sitting MP in here are involved in this syndicate. Some officers from the bank are also part of this. What was happening is that uh, the bank of officers were conniving with our officials to buy that maize at 300 kwacha from Admac and selling it at 800 kwacha, making a profit of a poor Malawian maize. Some of that maize has been exported to Kenya. Madam Speaker, you saw some pictures last week. Trucks were impounded but they were released quietly, you have not heard anything about it. Madam Speaker, there's also information that the actual maize that has been lost is 38,000 tons, not 10,000. That just cements what a form, uh, some suspect said to your committee your joint committee that, yes, I have stolen 13 trucks, but big fishes have stolen more maize. Mm. Madam Speaker, there's also information that as I am talking to you now, maize is being loaded at Malangalangadmak and being diverted to Salima and Ponera. Whether it is because of the issue that came up yesterday, but there's so much going on with this maize. Now, my coming and standing here in front of you, Madam Speaker, is to ask your good office, as you've always done, to empower, to ask you to empower and capacitate your committee of agriculture to do an inquiry and investigate into this matter. Ma I Madam I Speaker, Malawians uh, need to know... I'll give you space on Deputy Leader after. After Malawians need to know the truth. If this is maize was rotten, we want to go and see it physically that here's the maize that is rotten, 10,000 tons. If someone bought that maize, we want to go see those cows that ate that 10,000 tons. Because it's high time, uh, Madam Speaker, that Malawians became, stopped being fools. We stopped being lied to. We want the truth on this maize 
and it is our plea, the people of Blanta City Southeast, to your good office, Madam Speaker, your office that has transformed the oversight of this house, because everyone now is talking good under your leadership, that oversight has improved. We want to go and inquire into this maze. It's not 10,000 tons. No maze was rotten. Two weeks ago, I have a report from NFRA that says there's no rotten maze. We want to know the truth. This maze belongs to Malawians. It happened in 2013 during PP administration. Maze was rotten, but we never saw the end of that maze. We never saw that maze. We want this habit of stealing from Malawians under the disguise of rotten to stop. Someone should pay dearly if they have done something. So this inquiry is just to find out the truth. We're not saying someone has done something, Madam Speaker, but we want to go and dig the truth because Malawians want to know the truth. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I submit.